Hey guys, it's Lily. I am back with the rest of my Nashville Bins haul from earlier this week and having a good visit with my niece. I did, was able to get some of the soaps up on the website. They're not all up there yet, but they're coming. Um, you know what I've made, so if you're interested in any, you can always contact me directly and I can either make the listing on my website or we can go through PayPal. Um, whatever. I'm still making soaps. Soaps are curing that you haven't seen. I've got videos that I've done that you've not seen. Um, yeah, we've had a good time. I've had her under my car with me. I'm uh, trying to track down <laughs> the leaks, whatever. Um, it's just been good. And Saturday we're going tubing, so that's going to be fun. And next week, after everything calms down, I'm going to do another story time. There's some Lots of stuff that has transpired over the last week or so might be interesting to talk about. Uh, airing some maybe dirty laundry. Uh, but y'all are all I have to talk to. So, but you don't have to watch. Anyway. Uh, so, let's get through the last of this haul. Um, I got this really cute Baby Gap um, winter jacket. It's an excellent condition, size three years. Oh, my dog just opened the door. Give me a second. Okay, well, that won't last very long. Anyway, it's um, faux fur lined hood, snap and zip up hoodie. It's really cute. I think it could go either boy or girl and it's in excellent condition. So I did get that because winter's coming and it was in good condition. Now you're going to laugh at this. I got this and I'm hoping because I think I have a coat that is missing the fur liner. If I recall, it was a popular one, uh, a, a higher, more expensive one. I don't remember if it was snap or a zipper. I need to look. But anyway. It was cheap, you know, at the bin, so I picked it up. If it doesn't work out, well, then it'll just get redonated. But it's a zipper. It doesn't have a brand on it. But, hey, if it fits that jacket, that'd be cool because it's missing. Uh, here I got a pair of Judy Blue 18W Relaxed Fit Jeans. And they're distressed ankle jeans and they were in good condition so I got those and Judy Blue Los Angeles I think it's a good brand um, I didn't look I didn't look anything up I kind of went I kind of winged it this time um, Joe's jeans I got a pair of Joe's jeans um, shorts cut offs um, they're probably mid-rise, size 25, um, just a cute little pair of shorts, I'll get those listed right away, slightly distressed, raw hem, and let's see, Under Armour, Under Armour MD, medium I guess, um, MD, they're just um, athletic shorts, long, um, with pockets. I, they're they're in good condition. They've got the nice logo on them. So I picked those up because they probably cost me. I do see a little snag there, so I'll take the sweater shaver to it and see. I didn't see the snag while it was there. Okay, I got an Avia medium. Um, zip up hoodie jacket in a lime green very good condition and it's got fleece lining and feels like it's waterproof it feels like that kind of scuba material um, great for the fall or if you live in the winter places that don't get too cold let's see what these are oh Ellie Ellie, size six. They're just a pull-on maroon straight leg pant. 
pants. Great for the office with the blazer. They do have a seam down the, the center here. Um, it gives it a little bit more of a work environment. Attire. But yeah, those would be great for the office. And I got this little pouch here. And I do believe I looked this up and that's the only reason I got it. I can't remember. I can't remember. Yeah, Amy Kestenberg. It's just a little uh, makeup pouch. And I am sweating. We got our power bill. It was 300 and almost $340. And so we're conserving and you know, our heat index has been well over 110 here. My niece is coming back in the house, so they're having a hard time. <laughs> and I, I'm sweating. Anyway, this little makeup pouch. Amy Kestenberg. That probably didn't even cost me 50 cents. I did pick up a few bras this time because they were in really good condition. I don't pick up bras unless they're in good condition. Um, and this one was... Warner's, I believe that's a good brand. I'm not really sure. Size 36 double D, but it was in really good condition. I do have everything that I hauled. I showed you the other night. It is, I did get it photographed and listed this morning. Um, so I am still working while she's here. Sales have not been real, real great this week um, for some reason. Okay, this is coin 1904 I didn't look it up but I loved it up size 2x it's this really pretty neutral colored tie-dye open cardigan but it's got a hood a little hood is that not that is the cutest thing ever and it has pockets so I loved this I've never heard of that brand. I don't know if it's a good brand or not. I did get this only because my daughter likes to wear sleep masks. Um, I'm even not sure who it is by. Continental Accessory Corp. Cat Lashes Eye Mask. So I'm going to wash this up and give it to her. It's just a sleep mask. I did get a bunch of socks because they were new. They're size small, four to eight and a half shoe, but they were cute and they're the fuzzy warm and they've got the non-skid bottoms. They're for kids, size small, four to eight and a half. Cozy girls socks is all it says, grippers. So I've got that, this pair, this pair, and this pair, and they're all brand new with tags, so I picked those up. And then I got this, why did I get this? Oh, just because this is near and dearer to my heart. These are it's from St. Jude, um, Believe in Miracles. Socks, and they were brand new, so those probably won't leave my house. I always say I like this because I thought I would like it for me. Or this is my size, but rarely I ever, rarely ever keep things. Okay, Rana Gill. I don't know this brand. Um, size zero. Made in India. Um, but it's a really cute midi dress. And it is zip up back with just with the, like a keyhole. Can you see the keyhole? Right here. So it shows a little bit of skin, but this is all embroidery, guys. Um, so I'm hoping this is worth something. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. This is all embroidery. And, oh, these, 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 these I like. This, these I did get for me. These are just Victoria's Secret sleep pants um, because I like to be comfortable. And that's all it says. So yeah, I like those. Those I'm keeping. 
Uh, I did find a pair of page jeans, size 26, and they are Skyline Boot, and they were in really good condition, kind of a light, like a medium wash denim, and they're boot cut, great condition, absolutely no flaws, so I'll be getting those listed. Everything you see should be listed by the end of the weekend. I just need to wash them first. I like to wash wash everything before I photograph it. Now, I'm not sure why I picked these glasses up. I found these sunglasses. There's no scratches on them. Uh, they're Lauren Conrad, so they're not worth a whole lot. And then I found this just generic case, so I put them in the case just so they wouldn't, wouldn't get scratched, but they're not scratched. So those cost me maybe 50 cents. And I think this was just an oopsie ended up in my bag. It's for like a wristlet because it's got some flaws. I would not have picked it up because the threading is loose. So that'll probably just get thrown away. And then I got these L-U-I-I. -I. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't, I don't know how they pronounce it. Size medium, slip on. They're kind of like Jagan's. Um, nice and stretchy, comfortable, navy blue. Um, and they don't even feel like they've been washed. But I'm going to wash them because I wash everything. And here's another bra that I got. Um, a Wacol. I'm pretty sure those are sought after bras. 38 double D. Um, it was in good condition, and I don't know if you can see the pattern on it or not, um, but it's a really nice pattern, and it's in really good condition. No stretching, no, no nothing. So I like those, and then I got these boots. Uh, who were these? I think they're born. They are born, and I, you know, I ha we have so much of that born here. I never pick it up, but these boots, I just, I loved these boots, and they were in such good condition. I just need to, you know, wipe them off, maybe give them a quick uh, cleaning. Size nine and a half, but they've got like the flannel on the inside. Um, but it was a very nice pair of boots. So I got those. I don't know. You guys tell me. Do you do well with Born? Because we have so much Born here. And I always pass it up. And I don't know. I thought. For some reason I thought it wasn't a good brand to pick up. But then when I went online to look. A couple months back. I was telling you there's some styles that go for quite a bit. So give me your opinion. Give me one second. Oh, everybody's home now. So, let me finish this up real quick. I do not, cannot pronounce the name of these either. They are similar to Birkenstocks. Mm. Mal, Mal Paul, you guys know that brand? Anyway, I got these, um, They're in a size 13. They're in really good condition. I'm just going to clean them up. And I got the exact same pair. Same. Mm, this one you can see the, the name better. Well, I guess you probably could if the straps weren't there. Um, the exact brand in a women's size 6. So that, that was pretty cool to find that. The only purse I got... Yeah. Yeah. All right, I need to um, finish this video. So, what's going on outside?
I'm <laughs> still filming. Oops. I'm not going to cut that out. Um, anyway, this is Franchi. Just a cute little made in China clutch. I thought it would be good for the holidays um, if you're going anywhere to an event. It's got a little pocket on the outside here. All the rhinestones are there. It's a perfect condition. And then I found these earrings at the bottom of the um, bin. And they are marked, but I've not looked at them to see what that mark is. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Probably not. Um, yeah. Anyway, they're pretty, pretty earrings. Or is it a pen? Duh, it's a pen, guys. It's not even earrings. It's a pen. Let me look. Let me look. Ooh, I don't know. That's really hard to read. Um, but it's branded. It was a cute pen. I liked it. So... I thought it was a set of earrings. <laughs> Oops. And then I got these, and I don't know why I got these either, because they're Michael Kors shoes, and I can't sell them. I don't, I don't know if they're just, Michael Kors shoes aren't popular anymore, or what. They do have a little defect that I need to fix, um, but they're, um, just a heel zip up front um, just just cute they don't have a whole lot of wear um, patent leather and then the stretch elastic stretch for comfort I just thought they were really cute the zip up you know the zip up front sandal like that so I don't know maybe this is a popular more popular brand um, I do need to glue something down on those to heal. I can hear them kids outside. Nordy. I don't know. I didn't look these up either, but they're brand new. Um, kids. Slippers, size 12. Name brand is Nordy. So, I'll look those up. And I got these. They're, they're filthy. But they can be cleaned up because I halfway tried to clean part of them in the store. Mystique, I don't know if they're worth much, but they're made in Indonesia. They're all leather and just look at the, um, I sure hope this isn't yellow on the camera, as yellow as it looks to me. Um, just nice leather sandals and it's called Mystique. Size eight, made in Indonesia. Um, Can you hear them out there? I can hear them plain as day. Oh, and little Oliva got this here. This little pewter whale statue. Yeah, so he's going to put that in his room. And then the last item that I got. And yeah, I might keep these if they don't sell, but I'm going to put them up for sale. These are sloggers. Size 8. And they're for, you know, gardening or people who just like to go outside. They do need to be cleaned. Um, but these aren't cheap in the store. And they were in, in really good condition. They just need to be cleaned. That's it. And I can do that. So that is it for my Nashville Vins haul. I know it wasn't a lot this time. Um, I'm being very selective now. And... Um, it just wasn't a whole lot um, to choose from. I'm hoping it doesn't get worse. I hope it at least stays the same, not get worse, because if it gets any worse, then then I'll probably stop sourcing from there and look for other avenues. I'm not, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. But that's it. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, Thank you to those who have unsubscribed from me this week also, um, for whatever reason. Um, I'm good with that. 
Like I said, I didn't do this to be monetized. I'm doing this for myself. And I appreciate every, each and every one of you that do watch me and follow me and keep in touch, whether it be here or via email or text. Um, I've made a lot of really good friends that will mean a lot to me for a lifetime. Um, I did get some friend mail. I have not opened it, so that's probably going to be the next video. Um, I've just been kind of running around like crazy. Tonight is Ollie's open house for school. He starts Tuesday. Excited about that, but not excited about that. <laughs> but that's tonight, so I'm going to be heading over there in about 30 minutes to meet this new teacher. So I will see you guys next time. And again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later, Lily out.